We get to an update on the wildfire burning in Surrey County up near the Virginia border. The Pilot Mountain fire is almost completely contained at this point. Crews say that 90% of the blaze is under control. Now keep in mind they've been battling this fire for nearly a week now. This after a campfire sparked it. So now the main task is extinguishing and getting to any smoldering debris. And uh, meantime, closer to home, Crews are also still battling a fire on Pogue Mountain in McDowell County. At last check, the North Carolina Forest Service says that that one is 45% contained. So we want to talk about this a bit more. WCNC Charlotte meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees is joining us now. Brittany, we've been talking about this drought. I mean, it's really not doing any favors to these fire crews that are trying to tackle these fires. Yeah, Vanessa, we talked about this a little bit yesterday, got the update and all of Mecklenburg County in the city of Charlotte are under now that severe drought. Now, according to the latest US drought monitor, it's important to remember, though, that every drought is different. I did earlier today speak with the North Carolina Drought Advisory Council representative. They give recommendations to the US drought monitor, which puts out these maps, and they are definitely concerned with the way things are playing out. But there are at least some things that you can do now to kind of prepare for not only now, but as we start to see demand for water get a little bit higher and it starts with checking on how much you use water on a daily basis in ways maybe you can cut back. Now, one of those big things, of course, is maybe leaving the water on while you're brushing your teeth or using that water to wash the car every single week. You also want to think ahead to the springtime. Once we get more demand from things like agriculture, irrigation and gardens, you may want to consider a more conservative garden in the springtime or maybe a less needy lawn to water during the summer summertime months because um, you don't want to put in a lot of money and effort and then have water conservation and water restrictions come in and you know see your all your work and your money kind of go uh, dry up now, I did ask the council who decides whether or not we put these water shortage plans in place. Uh, they said every municipality varies on their plan and what factors would exactly trigger it. Now, Albertan says that they normally do start with voluntary restrictions before switching to mandatory. So we would get a heads up, of course, before that would occur. He also recommends staying aware and keeping an eye on mailers from maybe water utility in your mailbox and other PSAs, especially as the drought continues to get a little bit worse. The latest information from NOAA actually shows that the Charlotte region would need close to a foot of rain to not only get out of the drought and put us back to where we should be, but of course get us back to that normal point. And unfortunately, Brad, it looks like that's not going to happen. Yeah, you know, we have the saying the droughts don't happen overnight. They don't go away overnight, so it takes time to get out of these, but you got to get that first like step, the rainfall, and we just don't have a lot in the next couple of days. It's just been bone dry out there. It's been dry and warm, and that's actually a bad combo because the warmer it is, is the more evaporation you get as well. You start pulling out more moisture uh, from the soil and the ground in these lakes. The good news is vegetation is not growing this time of year. We're, they're all dormant because we're in the route of the growing season. So that at least is helping us right now.